old morning. Once again, welcome back to the Vapor Rooms. Welcome back to the Vapor Rooms. As they all, as you know, the hype man in my brain says. Um, yeah, welcome back. So then, this is Top Tuesday. Now you're probably sitting here wondering. Well, a few things. First one, why are you here on Tuesday? Well, you'll be glad to know that with Paul's arrival back to the vape rooms, um, as I like to say, it's his crash back to reality. Do apologise about that, Paul, but you know, it happens to everyone. Um, <laughs> essentially, the original way that it went was I was in Saturday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And while Paul was away, I took over the Fridays and Mark took over my Tuesday. And now that he's back, back to normal. So, you'll be probably more than likely seeing me on a Tuesday quite a bit more. Um, second of all, you're probably wondering. So, stop with yesterday. What have you got to show us? Well, quite a lot of things to be honest. Um, I'll have to take a wander around the shop with you. So I'll leave that for the time being, just for a minute. Because, as usual, I'm here to talk about a lot of things. First of all, the aftermath of Restock Day. That will be happening very soon. The weather, as always. And just in general news. So, um, you'll start off with weather because, you know, it's making a bit of a change. The, the sun's kind of disappeared a little bit. Just a little bit. Not by much. Still kind of warm out there. As I always say, the winter changes are upon us. So we still got that cool breeze coming in. I really need that green screen, don't I? I'm doing the hand gestures now, naturally. Um, <laughs> I need the green screen. Give me the green screen. Um, but yeah. Got the chilly breeze still, so you, that's one way to tell the winter is on its way. And for people who love Halloween, as they like to say, it's getting close to spooky season. Um, Halloween's just been one of those days for me where it's just like, eh, whatever. It's a day. Things happen. Stuff gets done. Cool. It's not been really a, day, a massive day for like a celebration for myself. Um, I think the last time I actually actively done anything for Halloween was when I was a child and I roamed the streets as the bag in hand. Give me your sweets. The body. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the weather. Not major going on. Just sun slightly disappeared. You might get props of it from time to time with the cloud coverage. Um, it is a little bit chillier than yesterday. Strangely enough, yesterday we got 25 Celsius. Haven't, haven't been that high in temperature for quite some time. So, I need to feel a bit of a change. But, as I always say, the world operates on an equilibrium. So, if we're getting really nice weather, at some point it's just going to go... Unfortunately. But, lo and behold, it never bothers me. Weather's weather, it shouldn't stop you from what you're doing. Not unless, I don't know, you're looking to sunbathe in your back garden. Then I don't think it works at like, you know, 10 degrees and it's raining. I don't think it's gonna work. But, hello, you know right? Greetings. Greetings. Just have a little... I was going to shout greetings, but I could see you. <laughs> That's fair. Just have a little, uh, my morning greeting from Al. Morning's never quite right. Got to have a morning brew. And I've got to get me greetings from Al. Always happens, every morning, pretty much routinely. The only time I don't get it is on a Sunday. And I'm a little bit disappointed. It pains me. But, anyway, let's move on to news. News-wise... Uh, there's nothing majorly new. I mean, I guess I could talk about, like, the sort of minor news. Um, speak, uh, speaking of developments towards the COVID update, I'll call it. 
So the new rule basically saying that you you know no more than six, no more than six, as they say. Um, I've seen a lot of people say this, you know, basically just out and out just having a laugh about it. Is I don't really condone people going against the rule because realistically we want to beat this. We want to get past it. We want to live life normally. We don't have to want to run around with these on, you know keep two meters away from each other, none of that crap. We want we want to just live a normal life. So I don't really condone people who are completely going against it. But what people are saying for comedic gold is actual genuine comedic gold. Um, someone was saying that um, the rule of six was installed so Boris can't see his kids. Um, as a, I'm not a father myself so I don't really know if that's like a typical like parent thing, where they like, you know, I just want to get away from the kids sort of thing. I imagine it would be, because sometimes they can be a handful. But, it did make me, it did make me giggle. It did make me giggle. The only reason that rule was put in place was so Boris didn't have to see his kids. Um, another thing is, grouse and, I think it's like, duck, like grouse and duck hunting, or something of the sort. Basically, what really, really posh MPs do that is just really, really crappy as a person to do is basically, apparently, that's an exemption. Grouse hunting is an exemption. Why? Why? It makes no sense. It really makes no sense. I was actually talking to a bunch of friends about it, and I was just like, but why, though? Out of all the things that you could make an exemption, grouse hunting. We all know why he's done it, but why though? Why? Why? I'll probably say about like 5% of the U... Not even 5%, I'd say like 0.5% of the UK's population hunt grouse. Why? Why though? Quite literally. Exactly. So, that's the thing, apparently. And we'll leave it at that, because I think I'm getting a little bit too heated. And politics, not really my forte. Not really my forte. I'm kind of into politics, but I just... I'm, I'm kind of into it for the sake of just knowing. But anyway, let's move on. I've obviously picked you up. I'm taking you for a bit of a stroll, so that means I'm showing you what we have in store. So, we get to our lovely star ticket cabinet here. Let's have a little nose. Look at that. Filled to the absolute brim. So, we've got stuff that we already know and love. Stuff like the Kylan M, the Aspire Pock X, the Snow Wolf A Feng, just there. But we've got newer stuff. So, the V suits, the Smock Guardian, got the brand new colours from the Drag X, and the Valerian Pod. Hmm, so some new stuff has arrived. I pretty much covered some of it on yesterday during an evening video. Um, but, it's always nice to see you again. Aegis boosts are back, as well as the Argus GTs. We do also have more stock of the Aegis boosts, well the Aegis boost pluses and the Aegis maxes, as well as new colours in the Smoch RPM 160. So we did originally have the red carbon, whereas now we've got the black and the silver ones too. And as you've probably seen me during this video, maybe you've just been nosing at the background, because you know, I always like to have the two shelf as background. It's nice looking. Is IDG's new range is in, as well as Ribery Lemonade. We've also got, where am I? I'm just lost. Just here. Oh. Pushman, got the mango banana, mango strawberry, mango grape, and the original mango back in for those lovers of amazingly tasting mango flavors. But I'll leave the rest of the mystery. I'll leave the rest of the mystery. So, have an amazing day, everyone. Hopefully, it is filled with all the positivity that we can muster for you in the world. And I'm seeing you later on today. Absolute pleasure to have your custom company at the vape rooms once again but if not not a problem we're open seven days a week 
I'm pretty sure I'll see you a bit later on going that week. But it's a goodbye from me and have an amazing day. And if I'm seeing you today, I'll see you soon.